Diophantus of Alexandria, the father of algebra. Diophantus, aptly known as the father of algebra, gained popularity for his uniquely simple algebraic equations. His reputation is anchored in a series of books dedicated to the field of algebra, with the pinnacle being his renowned work, Arithmetica. In the seminal piece, Diophantus expounded on optimal solutions for a wide array of algebraic equations and elucidated theories related to numbers. Born in the ancient city of Alexandria around 200 CE, Diophantus remains a figure shrouded in mystery. Yet his groundbreaking efforts in unraveling the complexities of algebraic equations have left an enduring legacy in the annals of mathematical history. Diophantus lived during a period marked by the decline of the Roman Empire, a time when Alexandria stood as a bustling center of intellectual exchange, blending mathematical, scientific, and philosophical ideas. Against this backdrop, Diophantus emerged as a mathematician poised to make profound contributions to the understanding of equations and number theory. His masterwork, the Arithmetica, represents a series of books exploring the intricacies of algebraic equations and number theory. Although uncertainty surrounds the exact number of books in the Arithmetica, estimates range from 6 to 13. Unfortunately, only six books have survived in their entirety, with the rest known solely through references made by later mathematicians. The Arithmetica is a compendium of problems and solutions expressed in symbolic notation, marking a departure from the geometric and rhetorical styles of Diophantus's predecessors. His innovative use of symbols to represent numerical quantities laid the groundwork for symbolic algebra, a field that would evolve over centuries. Diophantus's renown is particularly anchored in his work on what we now call Diophantine equations. These equations involve the quest for integer solutions to polynomial equations, often of the second degree. A quintessential example is the Pythagorean equation x out 2 plus y twix z squared, encapsulating sets of three positive integers satisfying the Pythagorean theorem. In the Arithmetica, Diophantus provided methods for solving an array of such equations. His approach included expressing numbers as sums of squares or identifying rational solutions that could later be scaled up to integer solutions. While his methods may appear rudimentary compared to modern algebraic techniques, they were revolutionary in their time, laying the foundation for subsequent mathematical developments. A pivotal contribution to mathematics by Diophantus was his innovative use of symbolic notation. Prior to his work, Greek mathematicians predominantly employed geometric and verbal methods. In a departure from tradition, Diophantus adopted a more succinct and abstract algebraic notation, utilizing symbols to represent unknowns and their powers. This shift paved the way for symbolic algebra, a trajectory further explored and refined by Islamic mathematicians during the Renaissance. For instance, Diophantus used a symbol resembling the modern delta to represent a square, employing the notation AB to signify the square of a number, where A is the number and B is the symbol for the square. This symbolic approach facilitated the concise expression of mathematical relationships, laying the groundwork for the algebraic symbolism pervasive in modern mathematics. Diophantus's influence reverberates through the corridors of mathematical history. Although not fully appreciated in his time, mathematicians during the Islamic Golden Age, such as Al-Khwarizmi, built upon Diophantus's ideas, propelling the field of algebra forward. The Renaissance saw further expansion and formalization of algebraic notation by luminaries like Francois Viette and René Descartes, with the very term algebra deriving from the Arabic word al-jabr found in Al-Khwarizmi's work. While Diophantus may not have fully comprehended the abstract nature of his contributions, his work laid the foundational stones for the development of algebra as a distinct mathematical branch. His legacy endures in the symbolic notation and algebraic methodologies that underpin modern mathematics. In conclusion, Diophantus of Alexandria, revered as the father of algebra, left an indelible imprint on the history of mathematics. Born into the intellectual ferment of ancient Alexandria, Diophantus's introduction of symbolic notation and innovative methods for solving Diophantine equations provided the groundwork for the evolution of algebra. 
Though much of his life remains enigmatic, his intellectual legacy transcends the centuries, with mathematicians in subsequent eras building upon his ideas and cementing his position as a trailblazer in algebra. The debt owed by the field of mathematics to this ancient mathematician is evident in the resonance of his ideas in the equations and notations of the present day.